you all so very much. Welcome to the Park Theater here in Las Vegas for the 2020 Hall of Fame induction ceremony. I'm John Anik. It is my absolute privilege to play host to this special evening. So each of the 2020 inductees will receive our traditional trophy, signifying entry to the Pantheon of Greats, as well as the signature UFC Hall of Fame black jacket custom made by the W Diamond Group. It's an honor. It's a true honor to be the first recipient of the Forrest Griffin Community Award. And I'm, I'm, I'm just very honored by this, honestly. I want to thank Toyo Tires as well for the generous donation towards the Good Fight Foundation, which has been very important to me in my life. It's so awesome for the Good Fight Foundation to be recognized for all the good it's been doing to the underserved communities in Louisiana and beyond now at this point. And to all the donors, I want to thank our community because without you guys, we couldn't come together and help those in need. We're just a, a vehicle for these things to happen. You guys, when you share this information, when you make donations, when you tweet or retweet things we put out there, without your guys' voice, you know, we, don't, we wouldn't be able to get these things done. So thank you to everybody who's ever donated, uh, shared information with the Good Fight Foundation. It's through you guys that we've been able to make a difference in people's lives, and, and I'm very thankful. And I said, uh, we can't regulate a, a sport that advertises no holds barred, anything goes, limited rules, two men, come into the ring, one leaves. It just, uh, you couldn't regulate it. We just go from 97 to 01, and we're in, uh, in New Jersey, I, I think either Newark or Trenton. Under the auspices of uh, Commissioner Larry Hazard and Deputy Attorney General Nick Lembo, uh, we hammer out the rules of uh, what we now call the unified rules of mixed martial arts, and I know Lorenzo and Dana were there, I believe Kirk Hendrick, I was on the phone, it was probably a four or five hour meeting, and to this day, uh, most of those rules we use. I remember the John fight like it was yesterday. It's probably the hardest battle I had in my career. John is a, is a legend, and uh, it's an honor to, to share the octagon with him. It, it was a fight that really changed my life. I went from being basically a nobody to, to a star in one night. Uh, and I'm very grateful for the UFC uh, to, to give me this opportunity. Super happy to get in this award. It's always going to be having the best place in my home wherever I end up living. That fight with Alexander Gustafsson was one of the toughest things I have had to do in my, in my years, both mentally and physically. It was only 25 minutes, but I learned a lot about myself in that 25 minutes. Uh, the fourth and fifth round, I, I pulled from something that I didn't know I had inside of me, and forever now I do know uh, what I'm like when things get tough. I think adversity is very important for all of us, and I just appreciate Alex for making me a better man for the rest of my life, teaching me uh, that I got some cojones. Yeah. I know, uh, I know Alex is, is better forever. I, he mentioned in his speech that he was a nobody and he became a star overnight, but more than becoming more famous, I think um, he got to prove something to himself that night as a man, right? He, in a way, he wins that fight uh, just for pushing me so hard. I feel like if the fans don't know who won the fight, then you, can buy, you might as well say you won the fight, uh, especially when you're supposedly fighting one of the best fighters ever. That was a big win for him, so I'm so proud of him. Uh, and uh, congratulations for such a great performance, Alex. Well, Kevin, you did it. You made it into UFC Hall of Fame. He cared about the achievements, not the award. He was like that with everything, except the UFC Hall of Fame. He talked about it always. That meant something to him. It was something he really coveted. It meant the world to him. And as I stand here tonight speaking about my friend, my brother, I know he's smiling that same smile. He is happy that we're all in this together. When we first started dating, you know, people asked the same kind of questions. What's your favorite fight? You know, and my first fight with him was Crow Cup. So I'm like, oh, that's an easy answer. Mm -mm. Randy Couture. I look at him like, he lost that fight. Quentin Jackson. I'm like, this man has lost his mind. Even the fate, if you're gonna pick one you lost, pick the fate or fight. <laughs> but the truth was, that was his truth because he believed he became a better fighter from those fights. Even better than knocking Crow Cup out and, and challenging the world. You know, he loved Quentin and getting knocked out by him didn't change that at all. 
it took, he took so much from that fight, even if his hand wasn't the one that was being raised. He was just a class act. He respected the sport. He respected the other fighters. He was just amazing. And I really do wish he was here to teach our kids. And even more important, the younger generation of these fighters today. Because show grace in defeat. Learn from it. And you'll be such a better person when you get back in there the next time. He was just a gem and a true sportsman on every level. I also want to thank each of my opponents. I face the very best of my generation. All of them are incredible athletes who brought out the best in me. Even if, it, if we seem to hate each other during press conference, I don't hold any grudge with anybody. The challenge of standing before these men have helped me rise higher than I ever could have imagined. Without worthy adversaries, I could not be a true champion. There would be no story of Georges Champion GSP. Honestly, even though I won against some of them, it doesn't mean I'm necessarily better than they were. It just meant that I was fortunate to be the best man that night that we fought at that certain location at that specific point of time. I love this sport and I'll never really leave it. I will forever be a fan and an advocate of how martial art play a positive role for both individual and society. Let us hear it once more for the UFC Hall of Fame class of 2020. Mark Ratner. John Jones versus Alexander Gustafson from UFC 165, the monster Kevin Randleman, and of course, George Rush St. Pierre.